So today's product is the Balmain Matte Clay Strong. And the way that they describe it is delivering a firm hold that remains dry and reworkable all day long. The Balmain Matte Hair Clay Strong allows you to create your desired style with ease. Ideal for both men and women, its blend of argan oil and silk protein smoothens frizz and flyaways, whilst adding ultimate texture and definition with long lasting control and a matte finish imparts the brand's signature fragrance and protects dry, weak hair from environmental damage. The main ingredients are petrolatum, kaolin, uh, what else have we got in there? There's argan, argan, there's olive oil, and then other extracts of olive oil. So I'd imagine this is gonna be, have quite a sticky texture to it. Um, and when it goes into my hair, I can imagine it's gonna have quite a sheen to it. So let's have a little look what it's like as we're styling my hair up. Now with first impression of, of the product, you look at the, the whole tub and it's, I mean, it's, it's glass on the outside, it's got, got a plastic black lid. And if, it, if you think of Balmain and the, the sort of, the, it's a traditional fashion house, isn't it? And you expect that to be very high end. I mean, it is very expensive really. So it's 25 pounds um, for 100 mil. So it's slightly bigger than some of the products, but it's still 25 pounds for a tub. And, if I'm being honest, when you think of a fashion brand, you know, you, I expect it to be very elegant, very well done and very sort of pretty to look at. That you, if it's in your bathroom or where it is, then it should, should look really quite cool. And it's like the fact that it's got the barcode on the top of it, I think that takes away from it. Um, it's then got the ingredients on there and it's very much it's just Balmain, Paris, Matt Clay Strong and then underneath it in French as well. And yeah, I don't know, I, was, I would expect a little bit more from it. When you open it up, it's got the little lid in through there to protect it. It's, it's a brown texture, which obviously you can see, it's quite soft, so it feels already straight away that it's got more of a, a clay feel and a stickiness and sort of like an oil-based product, which obviously that it is. Um, scenting through there, there is, there's a, a slight smell that comes out through there. It's, you get the smell of the clay. And you get a slight perfumey smell. It's not really offensive or it's not really too noticeable, but you, you get a, a sense of perfume in there. Now there's time to apply it. So let me stick it in, okay. So it is quite soft. It is quite clay as you would sort of imagine. So I'm gonna work this through my hands. Could imagine the way that it feels now, actually, I feel like this is probably gonna be quite hard to wash off your hands. And my thoughts are in putting this in actually, I'm trying to get obviously get the even distribution and it feels as though it has got the greasiness, not necessarily a greasiness, but more of a, a sheen to the feel of it when you're working through your hands. But actually it feels like it goes quite dry quickly. It doesn't feel as though it's staying sticky or staying heavy. It's, it's it felt like it dries up and you sort of almost have a little tug in through the hair as though it's drying and sort of almost not, not setting, but that sort of feel to it. Another point to note is I feel like I'm actually gonna go through quite a bit of this to get this into my hair so that it coats it already then. There's quite a lot that's come out of that tub. But it's saying that obviously my hair is really quite long at the moment, so obviously it does need quite a lot of product just to be able to get it in the hair. There's not too much of a scent of it when it's in there. You can actually smell, you can smell a little bit of it, but it's not too strong actually at the moment. So obviously just start the hair up and actually you can see there is quite a lot that's gone from there. It's then it's gone quite deep already with that. But you know what? Actually I'm quite liking that texture. It doesn't look, it's, it is a matte effect. It's not too, it's, it's, it's a lot drier than I thought it was gonna to be to, to be totally honest with you. Actually starting that up, I'm not too disappointed actually. It'll be very interesting to see how that lasts now during the day. I'm actually about to go, and I'm leaving the house right now in, well, I'm gonna leave the house now in five minutes. I'm shooting uh, a new collection for Farah. So we'll, this will be interesting to see how this lasts during the day on set. Um, obviously it'll be quite light, it'll be quite hot with all the lights on during the day, which anything that's this sort of oil based doesn't tend to hold up too well, but it'll be interesting to see how it does last. So I'm gonna go and wash my hands now and we'll go and see. Yeah, and as expected, it took two washes to get the, all the product off my hands. So it, do, it does take a little bit to get it off. Another thing I noticed when I was in there, actually it's, the, the texture is quite piecey, which is actually quite nice. It really does get quite a bit of separation in through there. So it'd be interesting to see how that lasts during the day now. Okay guys, so it's the end of the day. I've had the hair product in now for 
quite a long time actually I've been it's been in all day I recorded first thing this morning then shot straight out to a shoot uh, so it was I was at the studio we were shooting quite a bit outside so actually I wasn't really under the lights in the studio too much one thing that I did really notice with it was actually that my forehead like by around midday my forehead and my nose were super shiny and super greasy now my forehead and shine and my nose does traditionally always get shiny that's sort of a, a problem that I have with my skin but today it was like extraordinary greasy now I'm not sure whether that was to do with the product whether that was to do something else or I'm not entirely sure but that is definitely something of note so I'd have to try that again it definitely has looks it definitely looks like there's less product in my hair now than at the start of the day so whether that has then actually has separated into and fallen into my face I'm not entirely sure, but there's definitely a possibility that that is the cause of it. In terms of how it lasted during the day, we can see actually that what well, it's got like that wave in through there, and actually that would that came on very early on. Actually, that was sort of it. It sort of sank down into it straight away. It's it's still maintained quite a bit of texture. Actually, it's 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 not looking too bad. Actually, I would I would definitely prefer a little bit more texture in through here and this to sit up with a little bit more volume and create a little bit more of a corner. You can see actually this just sitting as just really sank in through the back here as well. Um, I quite like this in through the back area, but it's yeah, it hasn't really lasted entirely that well. It's sort of gone quite flat, feels quite greasy, quite heavy. Again, because it's petroleum based, my hair doesn't tend to like that too much. And the, when it's more of a water based product, it tends to work a lot better on myself. I would say this would probably work well if your hair was a lot shorter and wanted something that gave it some real short, short definition, uh, something that, like a little bit of spike, something like actually from the Nick Jonas photo from earlier, actually, something like that would, they, this product would probably work very well in actually. I think if you wanted to put it in something a little bit longer, it would then look a little bit greasy and a little bit heavier. I'd lean towards more the short of stuff or if you've got very like a buzz cut and it's just growing out from that that would give it a little bit of a little bit of texture and definition in there. For, oh, so overall, I probably wouldn't buy this product and wear with the hairstyle that I've got at the moment, but I would definitely give it a try when I cut my hair a lot shorter, that's for sure. 